I'm sitting here with Evan Weinberg, who is currently math teacher, math teacher, high school math teacher. Uh, but next year, next year I'm going to be the middle school and high school STEM coordinator. Evan and I are here to talk about a a, a recent trip that that you and some students went on to the United States, and. I, I promise I won't hog the whole story here, but I do, I can give some background on that because I happen to hang out in this after school club that Evan has been leading, a robotics club. And I was there the day that you guys were making the decision whether or not to, to take advantage of this invitation to participate in a tournament in the United States. That's the extent of my involvement in this. I want, if you could, tell us, give us a little bit bigger picture, a little bit more background on the club itself and how you guys got started. A year ago, exactly, I started talking to the head of school and the high school principal about uh, what they wanted to do in terms of robotics. They knew that, from my experience, I was very interested in getting robotics going, and uh, they put the, uh, the school's resources into getting some of the VEX robotics kits to here at SSIS. Now, now who, is, who and what is VEX? VEX is it's a, it's a company that produces uh, robotics uh, hardware, robotics kits. So you can, anyone who wants to can purchase a VEX kit and it has uh, structural elements, it has uh, wheels and gears and, and the framework for the robot. It has electrical elements like motors and sensors and it has a, a, a brain that basically uh, integrates all those things together and makes it possible to use one of these controllers to drive the robot around uh, and have it do tasks. This so, is one of them. This is, this is uh, the type of robot that you can build. It's very simple. Uh, what the students ended up building was much more complicated than this. We had a one-week robotics sprint uh, almost exactly a year ago where some of the other teachers and I designed a game and students had one week to build a robot to play it. We had a, a bunch of middle school students, a bunch of high school students really get into it, uh, built robots, competed. The middle school ended up winning. I mean, it was a, a competition that we had on the plaza, so it was very public. And it was a chance for the entire school to see that, that something was coming, that something big was, was going to start. That activity, and, and a lot of the students who were involved in that, became the core of the group that became the team this year. Uh, 15 to 20 students that were involved in all sorts of elements of the robotics team. So some building, some programming. Many of the students had, hadn't picked up a screwdriver. They hadn't really spent a lot of time doing programming. And there were going to be many lessons learned in the process of putting robots together. And that ended up leading to us going to our first competition in Bangkok. Now, but let me stop you there. The, 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 the th competition in Bangkok, was that a VEX? That, that was a full VEX tournament. It, okay. was, it was at NIST, I think over 20 teams yeah. uh, right. there from all over the world. And it was shortly before, probably a few days before we actually uh, were scheduled to travel, when I received an email from the VEX organization uh, inviting us to be part of VEX Worlds. Essentially that meeting, when we were trying to decide if that was something we wanted to do, when, when you became uh, you became part of it and you listened to the things that students were deciding and uh, some of the arguments toward going were all about how much they learned being in Bangkok for one day and probably the biggest lesson that they got from that was not just wow there is so much more to learn so much more to do but they also said we met a lot of amazing students from these other schools they are equally capable in terms of us, in terms of uh, being able to put stuff together, they just have a couple more years under their belt. And they saw that it would be possible to build a robot that is as competitive as theirs uh, and compete at the top level. 